I'm Wesley. I'm Neela. I'm Jeremiah. We're the Lumineers. Uh, we're actually sitting pretty right now. We uh, we were traveling in a Ford Windstar soccer mom style minivan for about the first year of our touring experience. And just like a couple weeks ago, we upgraded to a 15 passenger. Wow. It's, yeah, but the old van, we knew we had all our gear when you couldn't move. That's yeah. when you knew you had everything. Yeah. Everybody was sitting in the captain's chair at all times like this, and mm -hmm. there was a keyboard running through the middle of the middle of the minivan. Mm -hmm. And we had a tule on top to hold some of our clothes and stuff like that. Um, and the new one, we got robbed in L.A., so we decided to make a, a, a box, a cage, that we could lock up at night mm -hmm. inside the new van we have, so to protect our gear, because it was yeah. a pretty awful experience, <laughs> losing all our instruments. <laughs> uh, it was just less money, so uh, I think that and the scene itself was a lot more welcoming. Uh, the mentality of the New York bands that I've encountered was very doggy uh, dog and elbowing each other out of the way. And Denver was a lot more community oriented, so you'd go to an open mic and people would talk to you about your music and not just their music. And they would ask if you wanted help with something or help with tours. So we got a lot of suggestions on how to even tour in the first place because people in Denver were able to do it. And uh, one, of our, one of our current members, Stealth, um, he, he gave us a ton of dates. So he's a good example. He gave us probably just rang off 30 contacts and venues and uh -huh. uh, places to play um, yeah. on our first tour. We wouldn't have been able to do it without something like that. I think they just they stole all the glory. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Nothing left. Uh, yeah, I think people are, people are taking it a little more seriously, I'm, I'm sure. We, you know, we, I think we stay away from uh, that stuff because um, it's for other people to decide what you sound like. So if you go ahead and say you sound like somebody, you're going to pigeonhole yourself. Uh, and they might be surprised when they go to a show to hear certain songs. They might only hear the one song that's on the radio or on YouTube. They might not realize that you have a full catalog. So. I think it's all a learning process. Uh, definitely learning, learning as we go. But um, I think we, the road really suits us, and we really take care of each other on the road. And 